Hello, welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I will be showing you this bamboo box tube set from Winson and Newton Professional Watercolors. So this set has several stuff um, that Winson Newton has put together, uh, you know, to make your watercolor journey more pleasant. This box is probably made of bamboo. Okay, so it looks like a kind of a carrying case. And it has these uh, little like um, uh, caps right at the um, at the front, and then there's this little like handle that I think is made from some sort of a, I think it's a little bit of like a rubber or, or leather. All right, it's a little leather, um, and then um, yeah, and it's just fairly unblemished, un except this part where um, they printed Winston Newton on it, and on the handle there is this little um, and also on a sleeve. There's this, um, you know, Winston Newton, the name and how it, what are the things that's inside. So it says here 21 piece, pieces. So there are actually 21 stuff like things inside here. Um, and if you look at the tiny leaflet, uh, you see the stuff that you can find in there. So let's open this up. Okay, and it folds at once. And you, when you open up, it opens up like fully. Right, um, and this is what you have inside here. So um, first, you have that watercolor uh, paper that's stuck at the top, right? So this is a little band at the top, and you can slot in a, 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 a kind of a sketchbook. So I believe it's for you to kind of like keep all your watercolor stuff in. Um, so um, you can have this little depression over here where, where you can keep your watercolor uh, sketchbook over here. And there's these little notches so that allows you to kind of like flick it out, right? And there's a little band, black band to hold it down as well. So the one that's provided is this 100% cotton mold made watercolor uh, cold press paper, 300 grams. Um, and I think it's of A5 size. So this paper is made in Italy. Um, this is the Winston Newton professional watercolor paper. The thing that I don't like about this is the spiral. So I don't really like a spiral uh, sketchbook, but... <laughs> Yeah, but I heard the paper is really good, so I'm looking forward to using this. There are 15 uh, pages inside. Okay, so we have the color chart. So inside this color chart, uh, you see all the colors, 108 colors from uh, Winston Newton, right? And then you also have some of these like, you know, uh, information about the professional watercolor, how, you know, they have curated the set, and what are the things that they provided, uh, you know, uh, with your, for your practice. So you can take your time to read about uh, more about water. Winston Newton watercolor. Um, here, this is this is the the way where the action begins. This is the set of paint that's provided. There are twelve colors in here. This is the porcelain plate that kind of has a deeper depression on one side. That's the reason why this set is so heavy. Other than the bamboo case, I think it's also the porcelain plate. Quite a fairly big well. And then they actually provided. A little sponge so yeah I, I like it that they actually provided a natural sponge I don't really use natural sponge sponge at much in my watercolor practice but yeah let's try this one um, and they also provided um, a putty medium knitted putty with rubber from Winston Newton so it says it's extremely uh, useful for stip stippling removing pencil charcoal a pastel or just a paper cleaner and then we have a little cloth oh so cute okay i'm not sure what this cloth is for perhaps it's to like dry your brush so everything they considered right they have a little cloth for you to dry your brush and there's also there's also like three um, instruments like three tools here so there's two brushes uh, one brush is a size zero and the other brush is a size 4. So they are both uh, a sable round brush. So they are both sable round brushes. Kind of um, quite light and um, yeah, feels very like the feel of it is really good. And there's also a pencil. So this is a Winsor Newton pencil, right? Nothing much about it. It's a pencil. <laughs> Winsor Newton makes watercolor. So of course, this, this set of 12 colors would be the star um, of the whole set. I will test out the watercolor uh, next. So this is the swatch color chart and a swatch of all the 12 colors in this uh, Winsor Newton bamboo box tube set. In, in this set of colors, you see two yellows, two reds, two blues, one green, three earth colors, one black and one 
white. So now we look at the colors in general. Um, first, just the pigment information. So we have lemon yellow. It is a granulating color and it is opaque. So we can see here the difference in the intensity of the black line before and after the paint. It is AA in a permanent, so it's pretty, pretty uh, permanent. And then we have Windsor yellow single pigment. It's staining. As you can see here, you do see some of that yellow um, still after I scrub it. Um, it is semi-transparent. Um, not very obvious, but um, yeah, it's kind of like I can consider it more transparent than it is not. It's also permanent, but not as permanent as lemon yellow. That is, um, it's quite staining, so it's very strong, intense yellow color. Um, and the colors that it produces are, yeah, that with nice yellow range of colors. And then we have Windsor Red. Windsor Red is a staining color. Um, it is semi-transparent and it, I don't really see a difference here. So I would so consider it as kind of transparent. It's staining because you do see that after I scrub it, I could still see colors. And the colors are quite pretty good. Like they just kind of flow out. Like the flow is pretty, um, the diffusion is very fast. Um, and the mixtures, you do see a range of red color. Some of these really nice, um, like purple, dark purple color, like the, um, you know, like a eggplant color, which is really, really nice. And we have the next color, Lizarin Crimson. So a Lizarin Crimson is slightly different because it has a B in the permanence. Uh, as we know, PR83 is not very light fast, so that's why it has a B. It's also staining, as you can see uh, from the scrub, and it's transparent, not very obvious. Um, and this is how it looks, single pigment color. We have French Ultramarine next, it's granulating. We all know French Ultramarine is granulating. Um, and it's uh, kind of a transparent color um, and it is uh, non-staining. So you can kind of scrub off. So you also get a range of nice blue and greens with the, the colors. Um, next one is Windsor Blue, green shade. This is PB15. I think it's probably PB15, uh, colon 3. I, I think, <laughs> but yeah, it's just 15. There's no color and anything. It could be just a mixture. Um, it's transparent and it is staining, as you can see here. Very obviously, very staining. Um, just be careful when you use it. Very intense color. Just use a bit. Don't use too much of it because it's very intense. Um, and you get a range of greens and blues over here. Some dark purple as well. Uh, we have permanent set green next. It's a mixture of two pigments, staining color. So as you can see from here, slightly staining. It's made from a staining color, which is PG36, okay? And it is transparent, uh, kind of a, you know, normal light fastness. And you see that range of green. So can you see all these colors, these olivey greens, light, you know, strong light, bright yellow greens that you can get. Um, next is yellow ochre. This is a granulating color, as you can see from here, some granulation, not staining. So yeah, obviously it is double A. So most of the earth pigments are double A, very permanent. It's semi-opaque. So you can actually see this difference between the two lines. Um, and it gets a range of like kind of a, I, I think like a soft muted, um, you know, um, yellowish earthy color. Next we have Burn Sienna PR101. This one is a transparent color, very transparent. It's like a reddish reddish brown um, and you, you see that it is a kind of it's not staining it gets out and being of color it is a, a permanent very permanent AA here um, and this is the range of colors you can get you can get like burnt umber to like a maybe a greenish like olive green color with the blues um, next is burnt umber burnt umber is a mixture of three colors so this color here is kind of like I think you call it the chocolate color and it's a little bit um, staining, as you can see over here. And it's kind of opaque. I think it's like um, semi-opaque, if I'm not wrong. So it's so strong that I can't see. It could be semi-opaque. And you do see this range of uh, brownish tones over here. Okay. And next two are the, the kind of, they're not exactly, they don't exactly provide the hue, but they provide some sort of modification to the color. So this is ivory black. You can use it to paint shadows or you can add it to the colors that you already have. And that kind of help to make a, a different kind of color. Like it makes the shadow-ish color, like the, the, the duller colors. So as you can see, you when you add it to the other colors, you'd see this range of kind of like grayish but with a slight slight color tone so if it's blue you see a bit of bluish and if it's green you see a bit of green so this is what it does which i think is very interesting and it's useful um and it, it is a pbk9 so it's uh it's not a super granulating sort but it's also supposed to be a bit of granulation over here as you can see there's slight granulation 
And for the Chinese white, it's a kind of a translucent white, translucent-ish. It is semi-opaque. You can see that um, difference in the lines. Um, nothing to see here because it's white, but it does modify the colors quite well. You get a pastel range of pastel colors. So if you want to play paint pastel, you can also mix it on your own with the white color. So just a note um, that the permanent set green, there's kind of a nice separation because it's made of made from two pigments. Um, you don't see a lot of other activities. Like even the burnt umber, I don't see much. Um, but the set green, permanent set green, I do see a separation. So in terms of the colors that I can get um, with mixing uh, all these colors together, I'm pretty pr pleased because you get a range of colors. You get the shadow color because there's a black. You get the pastels because there's a white. Um, and there's also a range of uh, bright colors. You get bright colors over here, especially with these Windsor colors, like the Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and the Windsor blue. You get very, very bright colors. And, and you get also a range of muted colors because of the yellow ochre. So this is a very versatile uh, set of colors that you have. Let's examine how I use them in a few paintings that I've done. So firstly, um, I've done this one. So this is kind of a, I printed this, a short front drawing that I have onto a, just a hot press paper. Um, and, and I just use these colors. So I use it from a box set. I use these uh, properties and it, can you see the, the Windsor yellow looking very strong? And I could actually mix, I did mix um, to give the, the dark green color. Um, and I also use a bit of that Windsor red for the bottom. So this one actually doesn't have a lot of different colors because this building is just red and uh, just yellow and, and, and green. So there are not a lot, lot of mixing that we do, but I, we can do, we do see from here the strong, the strong colors coming out. And then in another one, so this is with hot press paper. In, in this one, this is more of a, a kind of a street scene. Like this is like an urban sketch. In fact, it started off as an urban sketch, but I couldn't finish painting, so I brought it back home. Um, this paper that I have is potentate um, paper. Uh, it's a paper from China. It's supposed to, it's a cold press and it's supposed to be 100% cotton. So I, I quite like the effect. I think it looks um, kind of muted. The color looks pretty nice. Um, you do see good texture and you do see the colors looking, especially the, the black looking very strong over here. Um, and, and also I, I like how the blue, it's very soft, but it's effective. You, you see some sort of texture in it. So here's my summary of uh, uh, what I think about the set. Um, I, I think in general, I, it would be a very good present for someone that you know is learning art or learning watercolor um, and, and have no idea what colors to get and what things or what, what stuff to buy for their watercolor um, journey. This would be a good set to get because it has watercolor paper. I haven't shown you guys how it paints, but that would be in a future video. But I've heard very good things about um, the Winsor Newton watercolor, professional watercolor paper. So yeah, look out for that video. Um, but the colors, I think, are well thought out. And the, the colors, are, uh, they, 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 are, they are very well thought out. And you have almost everything that you need to paint anything that you want. There's also a porcelain um, um, dish. It's porcelain dishes are very good for painting. Um, and of course, there's brushes as well. And also all these that I haven't used, the pencil and the eraser, I've not used them because I think they, I don't really need to use them because probably the same. And they even give you a sponge like for, for, for kind of, a, you know, for you to use and, and also a rug, which I, I can't bear to use. So I am not using it. And the brushes, um, I think given the size of paper that they give, these are kind of a good size because it is um, not too big and it also allows you to do a bit of details with the zero. This is not a cheap set. This is kind of one of those like, I think it would be like a happy Valentine's Day or birthday present for someone that you know, like you love dearly. Like this is something that you can get. Yeah. So if you know someone who's learning watercolor and they're like kind of at a loss what to buy and you, you really treasure them and you really want to give them something nice to start with uh, their own first professional set. This is the set that you can get them. And it comes in a very nice box. Um, and I, I like how that they, they actually, um, you know, you, you can kind of like keep it like in this like awesome, like sturdy box and it has a little handle that you can bring around. So if the one, the person wants to, uh, you can keep it when it's done, like you can keep this nicely. And if let's say, you know, you decided that, you know, I, I'm no longer going to use this, you can also use it to store watercolor. So I think these are like good slots. You can actually slot like quite a lot, lot of watercolors in there. Yeah, and okay, you can also store watercolor paper um, at the back if you want to, but of course they are kind of limited to that A5 size. So 
Anyway, so this is, I, I think this is quite a good set. And, and yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, and I think if you like to see similar content, just subscribe and look at all my other videos. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. All right. Bye-bye. Um,